Come on in! Ooh! Bunnies! Bunnies! That's us! <sighs> it's early Saturday morning here in Bunnyville. And every bunny is sleeping in late. Even the early birds aren't wide awake yet. Four, three, two, one! Of course, the dumb bunnies aren't quite like every bunny. Happy We should do something special to celebrate. Oh, yes. A day like Saturday doesn't come around every day of the week. That's why every Saturday is special. <laughs> That's my boy. Let's put our heads together and think of something to do. I know. Let's go on a work picnic. Yay! Wait! <laughs> What's a work picnic? That's what I was wondering, Mama. A work picnic is just like a picnic picnic, only instead of having your picnic at a picnic, you have it at work. <laughs> that makes sense. Okie dokie. Yes, I suppose it does. <laughs> but only if you're a dumb bunny. Saturday morning. And while most of Bunnyville sleeps in late, the dumb bunnies are already up and hopping. I sure hope we packed everything we need for our work picnic. Want to come on a picnic? That's my boy! Everybody knows you can't have a picnic without ants. Look out, picnic! Here we come! Well, well, Professor Bunsen has come into work on Saturday, too. Guess who he's going to bump into? Papa! Mama! Where's... Oh, baby! Hi, Professor Bunsen. We're having a work picnic. Uh, I see. <laughs> well, what a surprise bumping into you three. Oh, <laughs> we love surprises. Yay, let's do it again. Okie dokie. Whoa! Remember me? Professor Bunsen, I'm... Oh! Oh! Jumpin' Jackrabbits! That was a real surprise bumping into you, Mr. Oof. Oof! Actually, his name is Dr. Burner. We went to school together. Oh! Well, is he a scientist, too? Yes, Mama, and he's a mad scientist. I wanted to make a big, exciting entrance to really impress you, and look what happens. <laughs> that makes me so mad! Poor Burner never could control his temper. I'm mad, mad, mad! <laughs> That reminds me of our Uncle Bunny McBunny. Yay! Baby's right. This is no time to be angry. It's time for the Dumb Bunny Family Album. Uncle Bunny McBunny loved to play the guitar and the harmonica and the trumpet and the drums and the accordion, too. And most of all, he loved to play them all at once. <laughs> Which didn't make him very popular with the neighbors. His neighbors got so mad at Uncle McBunny, they decided to tune up all his instruments. One 
Unfortunately, they used the wrong tools, and everything was accidentally broken. At least, that was their story, and they were sticking to it. The neighbors thought Uncle McBunny would be mad at them, but he always liked to make the best of things. This time, he made his very own set of electric bagpipes. Uncle McBunny always said... You kind of be mad when you play the pipes. And I'm sure Uncle McBunny's neighbors realized losing their temper only made their problems worse. Unfortunately, somebody hasn't been listening. Arr! How come nothing ever works out the way I want it to? I'm mad, 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 mad! Well, Burner, good to see you again. What brings you here so early on a Saturday morning? Oh, yes. I almost forgot. I came to show you my new invention. It's a shrinking formula. Oh, my. Uh, uh, shrinking formula? Precisely. Surely this will gain me the worldwide fame I've always wanted. Hippity hop. Oh, that's amazing. I'll say it's just like... <laughs> Oh, hello, Professor. Just like what? Good idea, Professor. <laughs> we love to exercise. Jumping jacks! My shrinking potion is just like what, Papa? Well, just like the shrinking formula Professor Bunsen invented last week. What? You already invented a shrinking potion? Oh, yes. And it did gain Professor Bunsen worldwide fame. Look! No! Oh, I've always wanted to be on the cover of Scientist Weekly. That makes me so mad! Arr! Why did I have to go and invent something that's already been invented? My shrinking potion is useless! No, no! But at least we know it works. Well, Werner, I suppose congratulations are in order. Well, it looks like Dr. Burner's big tantrum has created a little problem. Whee! We're having a really big picnic now. <laughs> That's my little boy! But of course, the dumb bunnies aren't the least bit mad about it. Well, some bunnies say there's nothing more annoying than ants at a picnic, but... That's only because they've never met a mad scientist at a picnic. Oh, now look what I've done! Sometimes I make myself so... Oh, no, no, Sorry, no, Burner. No. If I'd known you were going to invent a shrinking potion, I wouldn't have invented one first. Oh, I'm just a bad, mad scientist! Oh, no, you're not, Dr. Burner. You're very good at it. You're the maddest. Chin up, Burner. We all lose our temper from time to time. Yes, but when I lose it... I really lose it! I get so mad, I can't think straight. Oh, we don't have to get mad to do that. We never think straight. Oh, which is all well and good if you're a dumb bunny, I suppose. But I want to be a successful scientist, like Professor Bunsen! Well, there are lots of things you can do to calm down when you're angry, you know. Instead of throwing and kicking things? Certainly. For instance, you might try chanting a mantra, a short phrase repeated over and over, something that conjures a peaceful, calming image. All right. How about them? Ooh. 
I can't think of anything. Why can't I ever come up with good ideas? That makes me so... How about smell the flowers, smell the flowers? Oh, we love to smell, smell the flowers. flowers. Smell the flowers. Smell the flowers. Here you go, Dr. Burner. Ah! A bee! Ah! A bee! A bee! Ah! A bee! A bee! I must admit, that wasn't quite the mood-altering effect I was after. On the other hand, being chased by a giant bee has made me too tired to tantrum. Ugh. Hooray! <laughs> we'll work on your mantra later, Burner. Right now, it's time to get us out of this little predicament. <laughs> Excellent idea, Burner! Right then, we'll need to start inventing a growth potion right away. No, we won't, Dr. Burner. Professor Bunsen invented one last week. You invented a growth potion already? Well, after inventing the shrinking potion, it did seem the logical thing to do. Of course! I mean, what scientists would invent something like a shrinking formula without creating an antidote as well? Me! That new wooden! What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking! That's what! Oh, sometimes I make myself so... Remember, Burner, clear blue sky, clear blue sky, clear blue s clear blueing bluey s blue s Bob. I'm so bad. <laughs> no, just a drop. Wee! That tickles. <laughs> Aw, children grow up so fast, don't they? Oh! I did it again! Oh, that makes me even more mad! Oh. Yeah! Don't worry, I'll get baby back to normal with... Whoa! Whoa! My shrinking potion! We got it! We got it! Oh, we missed it! Unforeseen complication. Don't worry, Professor. We'll get him. Well, this time Burner's little tantrum has caused a great big problem. Our little baby is all grown up. That's our big boy. The dumb bunnies always cause a commotion whenever they go downtown. And something tells me today's will be even bigger than usual. We'll get you, Dr. Burner! Uh-oh, they're after me. And after all I've done, they must be really, really mad. Can't you fly any faster? They're gaining on us! We got it! 
I missed him. Me too. But I got him. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. One day he's going to be in the big leagues. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cause all this trouble. Please don't get mad at me. Oh, we couldn't be mad if we tried. See? something about a giant monster. A giant monster? <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know what this means? Yes. We, we better, better run! run. Ah! Monster! Hey, get your Attack of the Bunnyville Giant Monster T-shirts right here. You better watch out! Yeah. We hear there's a giant monster on the loose. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, it's a bit small. <laughs> uh... Don't worry, son. Maybe one day you'll shrink into it. Nice catch! That's my boy! Ugh, it's kind of heavy, Papa. Oh, man, he'll never hold it. Let's get out of here! <laughs> Calm down, everybody. I have an idea how to pull the building back in place. Huh? How's a little shrimp like you gonna lift something that heavy? Yeah! That's mighty big talk coming from a puny little bunny like you. It isn't nice to make fun of some bunny smaller than you. Just because Dr. Burner is tiny, it doesn't mean he can't have big ideas. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Fascinating. I must make a note of this. Baby and Mama used words to express their anger. So, what's the plan? Well, normally I'd have a big temper tantrum about now and probably make things a lot worse. Gee, I don't know. That don't sound like such a good idea. Exactly. Let's try this idea on for size. We can devise a simple pulley system to amplify the amount of force we can apply to the back side. Hang on, baby. Now every bunny pull. Congratulations, Dr. Burner. You did it! Actually, I didn't do it this time. Sure you did. It was all your idea. Oh, yes. I did that. We thought it was you. We'd recognize you anywhere. Even if you were an inch tall. But the reason I was able to do it was because I didn't lose my temper. Now that really deserves congratulations. Hooray! Way not to go, Dr. Burner! And as usual, way to go, dumb bunnies, who showed Dr. Burner a great way not to lose his temper. Yay! Well, everything is finally back to normal. Except for Dr. Burner, of course. And in his case, that's a good thing. I vow never to lose my temper ever again. Good for you, Burner. You finally realized there are better ways of expressing your anger than throwing tantrums. That's right, Professor. Such as using words to express my feelings. And if I can't think of the right words, all I have to do is repeat the same calming phrase. Clear blue sky, 
No. Think like a dumb bunny. Think like a dumb bunny. Okie dokie, Dr. Werner. Oh, we'll put our heads together and think of something to say. <clears throat> I know. Let's play cheese toss. Oh, it worked. Yay, cheese toss. Think of something else to play. You know, it isn't every bunny who can think like the dumb bunnies. <laughs> Not without a helmet, anyway. I wonder what's for breakfast, for supper. That's, That's our Dr. Burner!